The Kellett XR-8, later redesignated XH-8, was an experimental American helicopter developed during World War II by the Kellett Auto Giro Corporation of Philadelphia. It represented one of the earliest attempts in the United States to design a twin-rotor intermeshing helicopter, or synchropter, eliminating the need for a tail rotor and its associated power loss. Following the success of Sikorsky's VS-300, the United States Army Air Forces shifted interest from autogyros to helicopters. In response, Kellett proposed a twin-rotor aircraft on November 11, 1942, inspired by German designer Anton Flettner's intermeshing rotor systems. The proposal was accepted on January 7, 1943, and a contract for two prototypes was issued on September 11. The first prototype, XR-8, serial 4344714, featured three-bladed rotors, while the second, XR-8A, 4421908, used two-bladed rotors. Power came from a 245-horsepower Franklin 0405 engine. The XR-8 had a compact, egg-shaped fuselage with an extensively glazed cockpit for two and rotors canted at 12.5 degrees to intermesh safely. Its unique appearance earned it the nickname Egg Beater. The aircraft first flew on August 7, 1944, with test pilot Dave Driscoll. Initial flights revealed stability problems, leading to the addition of extra tail fins. However, on September 7, a serious incident occurred when blades from both rotors collided in flight, halting tests. The XR-8A, tested in March 1945, suffered from severe vibration due to its rigid two-bladed rotors, and the design was abandoned. By January 23, 1946, the XR-8 was accepted for official evaluation, but the program was canceled soon after due to persistent mechanical difficulties. The prototype was later transferred to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, where it remained in storage for decades. In 2022, the aircraft was moved to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, for restoration. The XR-8 remains a remarkable technological experiment, the first American-built synchropter to fly, paving the way for future intermeshing rotorcraft, such as those by Cayman. Its restoration marks the first step toward bringing this historic prototype to public display for the very first time.